What's up guys, my name is Dean, or as most of you know me, Twisty, and it is time to get into another round preview for the AFL season. This is round five, let's get into it. First game we got to look forward to is the Hawks and the Crows. This is a really big game, this is tonight's game. Friday Night Football, MCG, Hawthorne, couple of ins, Gibson and Hill. Gibson obviously rested last week, um, or a, a hamstring soreness. Uh, and Bradley Hill come in, Daniel Howe and Litherland go out. Uh, and for the Crows, Charlie Cameron comes in. Malera goes out with a quad injury. So it's sort of a like-for-like -like player there with uh, Cameron for Malera. Very similar uh, small forward type players. Uh, but I think uh, Hawthorne, they, they had a bit of a scare last week. Adelaide had a huge win over Sydney. Um, it, it, both sides it's, it, are going to be like, top end of the table this season. Um, and, and Hawthorne, we haven't seen them at their prime form yet. But I think tonight they will show it and they will beat the Crows. They are, they're a side that just keeps on keeping on. And I think that tonight they're going to do that again. Um, and they're going to beat the Crows as, as good as Adelaide have been. It's going to be a very high scoring game and very exciting finish, I reckon, uh, for tonight's game. Uh, the next game is a mouth-watering clash. I don't know why it's on at the early time slot, but it's Sydney and West Coast. Big ins. Uh, Sinclair comes in for the Swans as well as Hewitt. Uh, and then Curvis and Tau is missed. And for the Eagles, Prittis, Wellingham and McInnes come in. Hutchings, Lysette and Nelson uh, go out. All being omitted or suspended or some stupid thing that's got them out of the team. Uh, and this is this is such a mouth-watering clash. It's just... I, I, I think they would, probably would have been much better suited to a Saturday night time slot or a twilight time slot. But uh, Saturday early, not really too sure why the AFL's decided to do this. Um, two quality, quality teams playing off against each other. West Coast, big win over Richmond. Sydney, very narrow loss to the Crows last week in a very high-scoring game. The Swans are playing at home, and that's what I think will be the determining factor here. They play the SCG very good. It's a smaller ground, which will probably suit uh, West Coast, but I think it is actually wider than Subiaco Oval, so uh, it, it will probably suit Sydney better than it will suit West Coast. I think at home, Swans in good form, Buddy's in good form, Sydney will get over line in this one. Saturday Twilight game is the Gold Coast Suns and North Melbourne. North Melbourne, no changes made. Uh, Trent McKenzie, two metre Peter, Jared Grant, Curry and Russell come in. The outs, Nichols omitted, Brooksby omitted, Ryan Davis has been arrested, Stephen May five weeks suspended, and uh, Dion Prestia is ill, so he will not be playing due to illness. Big game this one for both sides. North Melbourne haven't proven themselves yet, and, and I know they're four and zip, but a lot of sides are saying, well, who have they actually beaten? They've beaten Frio, who's zip and four. They've beaten uh, Melbourne, who who they're okay. It was a ridiculously high-scoring game, and it could have gone either way. Uh, they beat... Who else did they beat? They beat uh, Brisbane, who, you know, it was Brisbane, and they beat Adelaide in round one, which is probably their biggest scalp so far. Uh, is Adelaide, but we don't know how good Adelaide were in round one compared to the other rounds. But anyway, um, you'd think that that's probably their biggest win. They've got to win this game, North Melbourne. It's up at Metricon Stadium, which will probably not favour them, or will definitely will not favour them. Um, and they've had trouble up there in the past. So I'm picking an outsider here. I'm picking the Gold Coast Suns to beat North here. I could, I'm probably going to be wrong, but uh, I've got to do something to get my tips back on track. Uh, the Gold Coast, I think, are the only real... Up are the only upset chance. Um, yeah, I, I think that they, they can do it. North Melbourne, these are the games that they drop. These are the games that they drop. They, they do, drop a number of games in the home and away season, North Melbourne, over the past few years. I'm not sure how much better they are. They've looked better, but they've got to prove it. So if they win this week, they are better. If they don't, then they haven't. Gold Coast for me. Not sure why, but Gold Coast. Saturday night, Bulldogs, Lions. Big outs for the Dogs. Jay Johannesson. And Tommy Boyd misses as well, as well as Hamling and McLean has been arrested. Uh, but you look at the ends, Easton Wood, Tory Dixon, they're two players that can replace them, you know, kind of. So Wood comes in for Johannesson, obviously Dixon comes in for Boyd. Uh, Tom Campbell and Bailey Dale come in for the Lions. Rockliffe in for Mays. Uh, Etihad Stadium, whether or not that's going to be a factor for uh, the Bulldogs, if that's going to keep their injuries going. We know it's a tougher ground to play on because it's a harder surface, so it does a little bit more damage to your bones and your muscles. Uh, I don't think it'll be a factor in this game. I think they're going to win against the Lions, but provided they don't get any more injuries, the Dogs will just keep going on a winning run. Um, 
for the for the remainder of the season and just keep going, uh, keep on keeping on. So I think uh, the Bulldogs here easily against the Lions. Although the Lions had a really good game last week against the Suns, but they, yeah, anyway, it's hard to judge. Do, dogs, easy. Port Adelaide and Geelong up at uh, Adelaide Oval. O'Shea and Stewart come in. Archie and Pollock get omitted. For the Cats, Enright comes back in after that one week rest. Kirsten and Lincoln McCarthy come in as well. Murdoch and Lang have been omitted. And Henderson has been managed. We saw Enright got managed after three weeks last uh, round. And now Henderson's managed after a month. I don't know what Geelong's playing at, but uh, Henderson should be one of those players that plays every week for the season. He He's a young kid. He's, he should be fit. Uh, he's only, what, 25, 26? But he should be should be in the prime of his career. He shouldn't need to be managed on a you know on a monthly basis. I just don't see the move as, as a smart one. But I still think Geelong will get the chocolates up there. Port Adelaide have been such an inconsistent side uh, ever since they made that preliminary final. So um, Geelong for me, I think they're on the up. Um, but how far on the up, we don't know yet. But I definitely think Port Adelaide aren't going to just jump up as, as a lot of people have predicted uh, them to do so far. Uh, and let's take a look at the next game. We got the Saints and the Giants. This is a real interesting game because on paper you'd say the Giants win. Jeremy Cameron, Devin Smith come back into the side. Jacob Popper could make his debut. Um, Tomlinson goes out of that side. Uh, and then the Saints, Templeton goes out. Dunstan, along that memory, Webster come in. Obviously there's a squad, so a couple of those guys could be omitted. But... Um, you've got to look at the Saints last week should have won. They will be taking that as a missed opportunity, carry that momentum into this week, they win the game. Uh, if they don't, however, if they don't come up with the same, you know, we've got to play every moment as it counts mindset, the Giants will win uh, and Cameron will kick six goals. So he's been on the sidelines, eking to get back in and uh, the Giants, I'm going to pick the Giants, but I will not be surprised if the Saints win this game because GWS... As good as they have been, they have been a little bit inconsistent so far. So, uh, any side can beat any side on any given day, and I give the Saints every chance to win this week. But I just think the Giants have that little bit more class about them with Cameron back in the side, and uh, he will uh, be a big factor for them come finals time, if they get that far. Uh, and he will be a big factor of getting them to finals. So I think the Giants will get home from here. Next game, the Battle of the Wooden Spoon, Fremantle and Carlton. I don't think this is the Battle of the Wooden Spoon, but uh, the two winless sides, Darcy Tucker, Gray, and Zach Clark come in. No outs have been made yet. These are squads, of course, um, or, you know, extended squads. Uh, Jamison Jones and White come in to that uh, squad of 25, so no outs yet. But uh, I still think Fremantle, they're... They're not as bad as, as everyone thinks. I think they're going to miss out on the finals. I'm not sure how, by, by how much. Um, but they only lost four games in the home and away season last year. They've already lost four games this season. It's going to be a tough ask for them to get back into that eight with so many class sides uh, up and about. Carlton, we, we know Carlton are going to be better over the, the long term, but uh, it's definitely not going to be this year, and it's definitely not going to be this week. I don't think they're going to beat Fremantle over there. If they do... Fremantle are in a much worse situation than we first thought, and they could be losing some big players come the end of the year um, if they drop this game to Carlton. But I, I just think they will win this game this week. They played good last week. They will win this week. Fremantle to get over the line against Carlton. Couldn't have been anyways. Anyway, uh, next game, let's take a look at the... Uh, the Anzac Day Eve game. I've got a couple of... I've uh, got a highlighted thing here. i got Kristen Petraka to come in to make his debut. Number one draft pick of two years ago. Or was he number two draft pick? He was up there. Uh, but he is a gun. You watch him in the VFL. It's the Petraka show. So, uh, glad to see that he's in the team. I'm pretty sure he's in the starting lineup. So, he will play. Uh, Bernie Vince will play Garland, uh, Neil Borland, and Garlett. Question marks over Jeff Garlett, whether he plays, uh, whether he's fit enough to play over his ankle injury. Uh, Clayton Oliver's been arrested, and Matt Jones has some soreness, so he's probably rested as well. And for the Tigers, big ins as well. Big Ivan, Brett Delidio, uh, Anthony Miles, Jake Batchelor, Stephen Morris, Jacob Townsend as well uh, comes in for Hampson who gets out of that squad, uh, and then you got Vloston and Moore. Vloston missing with the leg. Moore has been omitted. So it's an interesting one for the Tigers. Who do they bring into that side? They've got a uh, big extended bench here. 
uh, if we take a look of, of who they're actually going to pick on. So they've got Ben Lennon, Jake Batchelor, Marich will definitely play, uh, Chaplin, Miles, Hunt, and Morris. I think the three blokes you missed there would probably be... Uh, well, actually, Townsend would be on that list as well. So I think uh, maybe you'd play Marich, Townsend... Bachelor and and Miles. They they've got to be the four blokes you play. Um, whether or not you play Chaplin is probably the big the big question mark there. But I, I still think um, Delidio is is a huge in. He is Richmond's most important player. Um, a lot of people are saying Richmond lack leadership. Well, they're missing their two vice captains in Delidio and Marich. They come back in this week. They had a similar scenario a couple of years ago when they went three and ten. They missed Rance, Delidio, and Marich uh, for a number of period over the first ten rounds. As soon as those blokes came back in, they looked a much better side. Um, and I think that's going to be the case this week. I think they're going to beat Melbourne as good as Melbourne have been. Richmond, uh, I hope they're going to win. Um, but and, and then again, it could go either way. Delidio is just the big the big in. If, if he's right, of course, then uh, Delidio will definitely be that difference maker, I think, uh, in getting Richmond over the line. He's a four-goal player, Brett Delidio, and uh, he, Richmond will win. Richmond will win. <laughs> Final game of the round, the Anzac Day Clash. Collingwood Essendon, it looks like it's going to be a good one. Uh, Frost, Cox, Maynard and Smith come out. Jesse White omitted. Uh, for the Bombers, Dempsey, Crowley, Simpkin and Grimley go in. Laverde out with a shoulder injury. Mason Cox will make his debut for the Pies. Looked very good in the NAB Challenge Series. I'm excited to see him out on the ballpark. Collingwood will win this game because he's playing... Um, he is he's, he's going to be a huge addition to that forward line. He can take contestant mark probably better than Travis Cloak because he's a bit bigger than him, um, and he's just a big boy. He's, he's 205 centimeters, but he's nimble as, and uh, he looks like he's going to be a good player all the way from the US of A. So that'll be the second US debut in uh, the AFL after Holmes last year for the Saints. Uh, but Mason Cox, very big in. I think he's going to just. Uh, he could destroy this Essendon defence. I, I, I'm not saying he's going to kick six goals. I think he might kick maybe two goals. But, um, yeah. Essendon, like, they're not a bad team right now. They're, they're very competitive, especially last week against Geelong. Only just faded in the last quarter, which is what you can expect from their young team. But uh, I, I think uh, they will be competitive. But uh, I don't know if they'll win. Um, I'd like them to win, but I, I just don't think it, it's going to happen. Uh, Collingwood for me in this one. Uh, and they're going to get over the line. As you can see, my tips are on the screen now. Let me know what you guys think. I'm probably failing. I think I got six last week. Um, poor decisions picking Richmond. Uh, from now on, I'm going to go with the head, not not the heart. But uh, <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Leave a big thumbs up if you did enjoy. And until I see you guys on uh, where are we? Monday, or we'll do the wrap up on Tuesday next week. So uh, that'll be different. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.